facts are important. For example, how many of you think the sun revolves around the earth? Okay, how many believe the earth revolves around the sun? All right, now how many of you know how to prove it? I have no idea. This is climate change denier Senator James Inhofe holding a snowball to make a point about global warming. He's a f***ing moron. Here's our president doing the same. Ditto. So let's talk facts with these dotards. They say, why is there record cold if there's climate change? <laughs> well, we know from facts that the Arctic is warming much faster than most of the planet, leading to a dramatic decline in the amount of sea ice that covers the polar region each winter. How do we know that? Facts. Research shows that some northern regions, mostly Russia and northern Europe, have been getting hit with these extreme cold spells more frequently over the past four decades, even as the planet as a whole has warmed. Facts. In winter, the freezing Arctic air is normally locked by strong circumpolar winds several miles high in the atmosphere, known as stratospheric polar vortex. The cold air is confined near the pole. Losing that much ice is allowing more heat to transfer from the ocean to the atmosphere, causing a weakening of the polar vortex winds over the Arctic. Scientists say these winds usually insulate the rest of the northern hemisphere from freezing Arctic temperatures, but these winds have weakened. It's gotten easier for freezing Arctic air to dip further south, thus colder winters. Now, why is this happening? The warming of the Arctic is due primarily from human emissions of greenhouse gases and burning fossil fuels. These are facts. That's how climate change leads to lower temperatures in the winter. There's no conspiracy. This ain't fake news, people. It's science. It's all over the world. Learn this argument to use against your bat crazy parents and in-laws. Ask them if their stock portfolio is more important than their grandchildren's future water supply, quality of air, and protection from tropical diseases. If they still don't get it, smile and say, that's okay. Then put them in some shitty rest home somewhere in Florida and let them watch the sea levels rise around them. This is a first world obscenity, and of course it will affect the poor first, but eventually all of us. Let's not be stupid. Let's make America smart again. Do it live! Fake news. <laughs>